So let's talk about PFAS and pesticides. A lot of creators out there reading chat GPT summaries of what PFAS are and like mispronouncing it. One big piece of misinformation that I keep hearing is that the pesticides that Trump is approving are the first ones with PFAS. And unfortunately that is false. Over 60% of the new pesticides that have come out within the last 10 years have had PFAS in them in one way, shape, or form. I mean, there was a huge review that actually came out last July, right? So at that point, 14% of all US pesticides had an active ingredient that was PFAS, okay? And PFAS, just so you know, this is a huge group of chemicals. However, the main type of PFAS that is in all of the pesticides now is TFA, trifluoroacetic acid. Okay, now TFA is actually a breakdown product of many other PFAS, right? It's used as a building block to make many other compounds. Okay, but TFA is an ultra short PFAS, right? And it's actually water soluble, okay? So it doesn't build up in fat like older PFAS, but actually this makes it worse because it's incredibly stable. It's much more bioaccumulative, especially in water and in plants. And it accumulates in lots more places. The other old school types of PFAS, they would, you know, spread a little bit, but mainly they would stick in places. And that's why they're bad. That's why they're known as forever chemicals. And they're never going to naturally break down in the environment. But TFA doesn't do that. It spreads a lot. It's highly mobile, right? I mean, a group of researchers goes out and tests for TFA. There's like extremely high amounts. Researchers are worried we're going to get to a point where it's essentially permanent, that we have very high levels of TFA, kind of like the lead situation in lots of parts of Central and South America. Researchers are also really worried about about what TFA is going to do to the environment and like natural earth processes, right? Continuous human exposure, mainly through drinking water and food, raises important questions about long-term systemic effects. Currently, TFA concentrations are orders of magnitudes higher than those of other per and polyfluoral alkyl substances. It's TFA's extreme persistence and ongoing emissions, concentrations are increasing irreversibly. TFA shows to be toxic to our reproduction, toxic to our livers. Right? They also show to be immunotoxic. So collectively, these trends imply that TFA meets the criteria of a planetary boundary threat. We are going to need massive planetary action to try and reverse it, or it just won't be reversible. So by spraying it on tons of our food in very large amounts, this will continue to get worse and worse, and it's already looking really bad. And I dislike when people make videos where they can't even pronounce it correctly, and then they downplay the risks of a big topic such as PFAS and pesticides.